Hey, hello. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today, for this lesson, as usual, we are going to look at the four different types of chords that you need to know. Now, why are these four different types of chords important? Many times, uh, you hear all these gospel guys, gospel pianists, uh, gospel musicians, you know, playing all these crazy chords, you know, using all these extended chords and uh, like chords like sharp nine, sharp five, all these, you know, advanced chords, and you kind of lost, and uh, you don't really wrap your head around some of the chords that they use. But in reality, uh, these chords are variations of all these chords, variation of these four different types of chords. But what they are doing is they are picking and choosing a specific type of a voicing that makes you uh, kind of hard to figure out the chords that they used. So sometimes you completely ignore that song because you don't really understand the context and how they use this type of chords. All right, so uh, for this lesson, I'm going to break uh, these four different types of chord down in as simple and straightforward concept as possible. All right, so for this lesson to make sense, uh, we are going to look at this in the key of C, okay? Key of C is, is uh, all white notes, no black notes. So uh, as you can see on the midi class, uh, it's laid out very clearly. This is your one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and back to one, okay? So I just played a major scale in there. So the scale degrees for each of these, uh, uh, each of these scales or each of the notes that I played, is this is a one chord, this is a two chord, and this is a three chord, this is a four chord, and this is a five chord, and this is a six chord, and this is a seven chord, and back to one. All right? So the chord type number one that we need to look at today in this lesson is a major chord. Okay? Major chord. Major chord sounds something like this. See? So when you hear a major chord, it gives you, it produces um, a pleasant sound. Or some people call it epi sound. See? So this is a C major triad I'm playing. So how you construct this major chord is you stacking of uh, thirds. Stacking of thirds. Okay? So from this C note to E note is a major third because there are one, two, three, four half, half steps. There are four half steps in the middle. Okay? One, two, three, four. That is a major third. And then minor third. Why? Why minor third? Because there are three half steps in the middle. One, two, three. Okay? So now you can go, go to any place, anywhere on the piano, and construct major chord. Okay? Let's try in the key of G. The key of G. This is a G major triad. See? So from this note to this note, is a major third because there are three, uh, four, four, sorry, four half steps in the middle. One, two, one, two, three, four. Okay, and then one, two, three. See? So now you can use this technique or this rule anywhere on the piano and you can construct a major chord just like that. Okay, uh, before we uh, go into next. Uh, chord type, let's look at one more example, okay? Let's say now we try in one of the black keys, okay, A flat. A flat, see? A flat. This note to this note is a major third because there are 
four half steps in the middle. One, two, three, four. Okay? From this note to this note, it's a minor third because there are three half steps in the middle. One, two, three. Together, when you play, it gives you this major chord or major sound as you can hear it. Okay? So that is a major chord. That is a chord type number one. All right, now, chord type number two is a minor chord. Okay? See? This is a C minor, C minor triad. Now, the chord quality, the sound that it gives you, and when you feel that sound, you hear that it's, it, it gives you dark or sad kind of sound. See? This is a minor, minor sound or minor chord. Okay? So, how you construct this minor chord, how you construct this minor chord is you taking off thirds again, but this time you flip it. It's the opposite way around. When we wanted to construct the major chord, it was, uh, it was a major third and a minor third, which gave you the, the major triad or major chord. But this time, when you want to construct the minor, minor chord, it's the opposite. It's the opposite. So, minor, minor triad, I mean minor third, and a major third will give you a minor chord. See? So, from this note to this note, one, there are three half steps in the middle. From this note to this note. So, one, two, three. That is a minor third, and then from this note to this note is a major third because there are four half steps in the middle. One, two, three, four. See? So now, using this technique or using this tool or this um, principle here or rule, you can go anywhere on the piano and construct a minor chord. Okay? Let's say, let's try in the key of. Uh, F sharp, F sharp here, F sharp, this one. All right, so from this note to this note is a minor third because there are three half steps in the middle one, two, three. And then from this note to this note is a major third because there are four half steps in the middle. So one, two, three, four. See? So you just constructed a minor triad there. So it gives you a minor sound, or it gives you a, a minor chord right there. Okay? That is a second type of a chord. Okay? So now we are going to move down and look at the third type of a chord. It's a diminished chord. Now, diminished chord is a very special kind of a chord where it gives you this aggressive type of sound. See? It gives you a very aggressive type type of a sound, very dissonant kind of sound that you 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 hear that the chord wants to move somewhere. Okay? So this is the augmented chord. So how you build this augmented chord is taking of two minor thirds, okay? So that's why the augmented chords are very easy to play uh, because you are going to stack the, the, the two minor thirds. So sometimes people call augmented chords as symmetrical chords because it's the stacking of two minor thirds that will give you this minor triad. I mean, diminished chord right there. Okay? Uh, for example, let's come back to uh, C diminished triad here. Okay? From this note to this note, there are three three half steps in the middle. One, two, three. Okay, from this note to this note, there are, there are also three half steps in the middle. One, two, and three. See? So now, by using this rule, you can go anywhere on the piano and construct a diminished triad just like that. Anyway. Okay, let's try. Uh, let's try uh, this time. Let's try uh, B flat. B flat. 
Okay, B flat diminished triad is played something like this. See? Now, from this note to this note, they are from this note to this note, uh, there are three half steps in the middle. One, two, three. And then from this note to this note, there are there are also three half steps in the middle. One, two, three. Okay? Together you play this diminished triad like that. Okay? That is a third third type of a chord. Now the fourth and the final type of a chord is another chord that we don't really use many times, but uh, it's a type of a chord that uh, you will sometimes uh, use. Sometimes you will need this type of chords. So it's very, very important for you to know. Okay? It's an augmented chord. Augmented chord. Okay? So how we play augmented chord is something like this. Okay? That is a C augmented chord right there. As you can see, now this augmented chord is another symmetrical chord because you are stacking two major thirds. Okay? So that is a C augmented triad right there. So from this note to this note, we have one, two, three, four notes in the middle or half steps in the middle, which gives you um, major third from this note to this note is a major third and from this note to this note is another major third so you stack these two major thirds and it will give you the augmented sound or augmented chord okay so now by using this principle using this principle you can go to anywhere on the piano and you can construct uh, the augmented chord okay so now let's try C sharp C sharp augmented triad right there. From this note to this note is a four half steps in the middle. One, two, three, four. Okay. So from this note to uh, from this note, this note to this note is a, and again four half steps in the middle. One, two, three, four. See? It gives you. D flat or C sharp augmented chord. All right. So that's it, guys. Now, if you master, if you master these four different types of chord, I'm telling you, in no time, you are going to play in all twelve keys, and you will you will definitely avoid using the transpose button. So again, I'm emphasizing here, if you want to play in all twelve keys. Or if you want to become better in playing your piano in all 12 keys and not transposing, this is the best way to go. Okay? So you have to learn all these four different types of chords in all 12 keys. So I just laid out how you can construct all these four different type of types of chords. So now it's your responsibility now. Go back to your piano and uh, replay as many times as you can this video and then try to uh, figure out how to construct uh, these chords. Okay? So thank you very much. Thank you for checking out this video. Um, as time goes by, I am going to uh, upload more content, more tutorials like this. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel, I would recommend you to do so right now because after this there'll be a lot a lot of contents coming your way and a series of content coming your way to help your gospel playing gospel piano uh, for you to play gospel piano to the next level or take your gospel piano to the next level so uh, that's a request from me from this channel to you guys so with that Thank you very much and you all have a safe and a blessed afternoon.